Greetings RC friends, welcome to Props and Wheels. Finally, it's a glorious April morning. It is nice and warm in the low 50s, very little breeze, maybe two miles per hour, maybe three. And it is a great time for doing the outdoor flight of the Helimax Nova CX. So just before going to work, this is great. All right, everything is ready to go. So let's take off and see how it does. It's doing pretty good for a little uh, coaxial helicopter. Let's get a little closer. Why is it not coming? I am full forward, though why it's not coming. Interesting. Is that that much breeze really? Maybe there is. There's some breeze, but it's all struggling. As you see, it's I have full forward and it's still... Yeah, there's some breeze that's being affected by the breeze. I'm flying against the wind. If I let go and it's going back, maybe it needs some... I'm not sure. Oh, it's flying much faster that way. Yeah, it is the breeze. Just a couple miles per hour is <laughs> enough to upset these uh, coaxial helis. I thought it will fly a little faster though. Anyway, we get to see it uh, up close and personal. So maybe I can block the breeze or help it a little bit. I'm not sure. Also, it needs a little bit of trimming. Oh, here we go. The breeze changed and... <laughs> well, it's a very nice helicopter if you can find one. These don't exist anymore, unfortunately. So, these don't exist anymore. This Helimax brand is gone, together with many others. And these coaxial helicopters, that are actually real helicopters with cyclic, meaning that they have two servos for banking forward, backward, right, left. Although they don't have a tail rotor, this is a proper four-channel helicopter. Do you see the lower rotor blades on the bottom? That's the one which has a swash plate. Let, let me try to show you how that those servos move, if I can. Get close. Do you see the servos moving and now I'm doing right, left, right, left? Maybe I can show you better once I land, but... Oh, it goes pretty... Oh! So it, it turned crosswind and <laughs> these don't have the new gyro controls. So, which means that the fly bar on top is helping it is stabilization but when it gets upset suddenly you know the the top rotor blades are connected to to the fly bar it can uh, get out of control a little bit the, the canopy come off a little bit yeah. yeah but it should be good other than that these are usually really hardy helicopters okay so let's do it again so i was flying pretty quickly and then turn the crosswind. You have to be careful when you are turning crosswind when flying fast with these because they can get affected pretty easily. So again, I'm uh, full forward as you can see from my right thumb and it's a little struggling coming this way because the wind is coming from my back. But if I go the other way, it's flying away very quickly with the wind. Yeah, these are only for flying in winds that are a few miles per hour, not more than three. But these are fantastic little helicopters. It's, this is an, I call it a oldie but goldie. 
if you can't find one buy it these are as good if not better the blade uh, CX2 CX1 CX3 do you remember those coaxials from Horizon Hobby E flight they used to be called E flight at that time blade wasn't its brand blade blade was the model name blade CX2 that's the red one is one of those that I really really practiced on I don't have it anymore I sold it on Craigslist years ago to make some money <laughs> to buy new RC stuff so but these are fantastic little helicopters especially indoors when there's no wind right now I'm following because it's not overcoming the wind. okay the battery is done I have another battery the good thing is these use like a 400 milliamp hour single cell battery with this uh, low C connector so it's very easy to find very inexpensive you can buy these batteries for just a couple dollars each uh, these are not the original batteries actually uh, this is JJRC brand and I have another one charged up waiting for it it doesn't fit that easily but I can make it fit okay let's see if it's going to bind without turning off the receiver did it bind yeah let me show you the servos yeah, so those are the two servos that are connected to the lower rotor blade and a swash plate over there and let me sh show you now right left this servo is controlling on the right and then forward and backward the, the one on the left uh, these are linear servos you can see can show you over here those are linear servos not with servo arms but so they are controlling the the cyclic in this one that's only attached to the lower rotor blades the top load rotor blades are more for stability it's kind of like on a cradle like hanging from the top and this fly bar is helping with the stabilizing it. Hey buddy, how are you? Hi, good morning. Yeah, the dogs love these helicopters. Here we go again. You know, they, they get like four or five minutes of uh, flight time. Sorry about the sun. This is great uh, for practicing without too much stress because it flies nice and smooth and slow. And if you want to practice your orientation skills, hovering skills, because it doesn't have altitude hold, so you are constantly modulating the throttle to keep it at a certain altitude and then you are manually adjusting the trim for it let's see if I maybe I can trim it a little forward because okay it's better, maybe a little better now And you can tell from which way the wind is blowing. Ah, just missed it. Alright folks, another great RC oldie but goldie in the form of a coaxial 4 channel, real 4 channel helicopter with the cyclic and fly bar. And thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And I will keep posting these kind of interesting all the videos and I hope you like them. Stay safe and healthy and hope to see you on the next video. Take care. Bye bye.